From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a special night of evenings, LA Late, live on air. How are you? I'm specially delivering you a four stimulus check of 2021 update tonight, live on air and interacting with you with a Q&A at the end of the segment. It's a great night and great news about your four stimulus check that started early today when the president announced a major change of position that could signal the four stimulus is heading to the finish line. All that great news from the president on where he changed to get this done by reconciliation. Away we go. Four stimulus is that monthly stimulus check that starts to pay in the month of July and is the single biggest payout you've ever seen in the history of this channel. Meantime, as we go into the evening, a series of other breaking developing details that no one saw coming. As the eviction moratorium from the CDC initially ruled unlawful yesterday has now been put on a stay as a p appeal is pending. Also breaking news is the unemployment departments of the states across the country are ordered by the Department of Labor to return money to you immediately. I'll explain how much money and what's going on. Incredible great news. Then a new wave of the, of the COVID vax of the COVID virus spreading and warnings about a bad May ahead of us. I'll have all those details. The unemployment numbers came out earlier today, and those unemployment numbers were absolutely surprising. Those unemployment numbers signal that we're going to get four stimulus. Meantime, there's also a series of no less than four other breaking news, and there's four to five other items that are landing alive this week for money you can get five to twenty thousand dollars. It's a big night, and that's why I'm live. I'm so excited you're here. Let's do let's do it right now. This is a special live broadcast of Evenings at Light. It's a special night across the board as a fourth stimulus check update is delivered in this broadcast. Also a fifth stimulus check update and the big money for the third stimulus land in your bank accounts. How are you? If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I don't want you to miss a single recording across the board. And boy, it's a bit of big day with a lot of exciting news. And I have it for you in this recording. Also like this video. Let's do two, three thousand likes. And if you've not become a member, Today's the day to be it because, wow, there is so many bills and so many laws you need to have the PDFs. More about that later in this recording. But let's get to the breaking news right off the bat. Fourth stimulus got the single biggest event that we could ever hope for earlier today when the president made that major announcement. The major announcement is the deal to get this done. The only item that had been the question mark for a reconciliation of the four stimulus package was the corporate tax rate. We had never seen any warning flags for anything to get this done among Democrats except the specific number the president had proposed for the four stimulus check package of 28% for the corporate tax rate. It's currently 21. Joe Manchin said 21's too low. He says it needs to be higher. I like something around 25, approximately. And the president today said, yes, <laughs> I will do it, deal. Oh my goodness. The president of the United States said, there's a way we can pay for it, and it's making sure that the largest companies don't pay zero and reducing the corporate tax cut to between 25 and 28%. That's a couple hundred billion, and we can pay for these things, and we're done. Meaning he would agree to the 25 to 28%, and guess what? <laughs> he's either watching this show or he's listening to other people because in the last... 48 hours, Representative Neal, the head of the Ways and Means Committee, who's a Democrat, said you can't be changing the corporate tax rate like this. Janet Yellen, the Treasury Secretary, said the rush for the, bot the, the attempt to get this done internationally is not working. And about two months ago, the Democrats said 
28 is too high. So away we go. This is great news. Let's go over those monthly stimulus checks now that we have that incredible great news across the board. And I got more about the other big news in just a second. The House members want to pay you a stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. So if there's four more months to the pandemic, then you would see four checks and then 12 checks thereafter, 16 months of checks. The senators want to pay stimulus checks to the end of December, so that would be six checks. But before you think that the House plan is better, let's look at the numbers. The House members say the first check would be $2,000. The second checks, the checks thereafter would be 1000 They don't actually say it. They actually write it in their bill. The senators, the amount is unknown, but word on the street is it's this. Oh, baby. $2,000 a month for over six months is $12,000 for a person or $1,400 a month over six months for a single person. $8,400 away we go. There we are. To which you may ask, is that a the whole household? No, that is for one person. So who gets this? You do. If you got the third stimulus check, you get this one. So same qualifications. 75000 or less, single individual. 150000 or less, married couple, double the check amount. Household up to four. If there's four people, quadruple the check amount. And then, yes, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Royal Benefits, you would get it as well. Wow. When? In the month of July? For the month of July. Then in the month of August? For the month of August. These are all the representations of the elected officials. Not me. I'm just reporting their representations. They say that the vote will be in the month of July and they would have it done in the month of July. Great, incredible news. Is this income? No. Is it taxable? No, it's not income. And how about debt collections and how about child support? We don't know anything about that just yet. Incredible great news. So this is the fourth stimulus check that is a monthly stimulus check that would start in the month of July and go at least to December and be the single biggest payout you ever see in the history of this channel. And today you got that incredible great news from the president that said, I'll make a deal with you. I'll drop my 28% corporate tax rate, pay for it to get it done among my Democrats. This is the Democratic deal. And we are off to the recon races, folks. Two months, two bills, two items, and we are done, done, done. Very exciting, great news. Now, the day also started with incredible great news about why stimulus needs to go out the door. Here we go. A week ago, this is what we were looking at. A week ago, the new jobless claims were released on Thursday morning, last Thursday morning, and they were 553. The prior week was 547. Well, guess what? This week came in at under 500,000, the lowest number since the start of the pandemic. This helps the push for stimulus checks because remember, there's two equations and two permutations. Rebounding too quickly, worry the stimulus checks may not get done because we're rebounding too quickly, get them done faster. Not rebounding fast, not rebounding at all, then we really need the stimulus checks, more reason to get them out the door. This number shows the rate of growth, which is still good, shows that we're not, uh, we're not rebounding too fast and also doesn't say anything contrary either. Tomorrow morning, Friday morning, we see the new jobs numbers and analysts' reports suggest that the new jobs numbers will be 1 million jobs created in the month of April. This is great news because with 8 million jobs missing, 1 million being restored, that means eight months, means the stimulus checks will be called to a vote in two months. We're not restored as an economy before those jobs are restored. Very easy breezy. By July, we will not have restored 8 million jobs. That's your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 today. I'll have more about that later in this recording. But boy, the day started with some shocking developing details, and it was the following. The eviction moratorium ruled unlawful by a federal district court on yesterday's, in, yes, at the end of yesterday, was put on stay today, pending an appeal. 
Federal Judge Dabney Friedrich out of the District Court of D.C. yesterday ruled the CDC eviction moratorium protecting renters since the first stimulus package is unlawful. But that matter is now up on appeal. So enforcement of the of his order is stayed pending the appeal for one week. What does this mean for you? The answer is we simply don't know. We simply don't know if you went into another court in another state, if a court would look at his ruling in a different jurisdiction and see one thing or the other. I have one viewer named Scott who walked into court recently with his CDC eviction moratorium and the judge threw it on the floor. Incredible great news, though, coming from Biden's Department of Labor. And this is incredible great news. Ordering states to return money to you. I love this. This is great news going into an evening. You're getting money back. Incredible great news. Let me explain what's at issue. If you received unemployment benefits at some time in the last year, and then at one time, the unemployment department reached out to you, said, hi, we overpaid you by mistake. Return the money back to us. And you return the money back to them. Well, the Department of Labor has ruled that was improper and that they need to return that money to you. They determined, the Department of Labor, that those states made a mistake and that ultimately their mistake is their problem. They should have kept left you with that money and they should not have ordered you to return the money. So the Department of Labor has ordered the states to return the money to you that the states told you to return back to them. Wow, this could be thousands and thousands of dollars. This is where the mistake was the state's mistake, not yours. Incredible great news. The PPP program shocked America yesterday as it ran out of money, even as the vice president and the president touted its successes across the board. It is now out of money, and this is a surprise to millions of Americans. The restaurant grant and shuttered, and shuttered venue grant is now live. But the big shocker coming out this week that no one saw going into Evenings LA is the announcement out of why out of um, one state, and that one state's announcement is just shocking. Let me explain what's at issue. FPUC is not set to expire until September. But Montana's Governor Greg Gianforte, who is a Republican, has announced that his state is no longer offering FPUC come June 27th. He is yanking it immediately because he does not want his citizens on FPUC any longer, saying that you're not getting back to work because of FPUC. What's a bigger issue about this, however, is the reports say that this signals that other Republican states will be doing the same and yanking FPUC from its banks, saying that it will no longer apply for FPUC, which is application-based state by state, and that you can no longer get it in those states. It's expected to be a domino effect across the board. I'll be monitoring this as this happens. Really surprising news. Meantime, news from Dr. Walensky, as she warns now that the month of May could see a resurgence of the virus. This is as the B117 variant, the London variant, is picking up speed as I had warned. That B117 variant is expected to spike, spike cases across the country this month before they settle down next month. Late tonight, Dr. Scott Gottlieb, the former FDA head, appeared on CNBC and said that he does not think it warrants wearing masks indoors indefinitely, as CDC is trying to currently do, because they zoomed into wearing masks and he thinks they need to zoom out of wearing masks as well. I'll be monitoring that story as well in the coming days. Wow, what a big day across the board. Meantime, there is a lot of money coming to you in addition to for stimulus. And that money is coming to you now. And guess what? I'm going over it right now. Viewers have been asking me, is there a stimulus check in the month of May and June? So another YouTuber told me I was. No, there is no stimulus check in the month of June or May. And I've seen those YouTubers' channel titles just pass this week, coming now. No, there are no stimulus checks this week or next month or the month after. Or, well, this month or the month after. They would start in the month of July for the fourth stimulus package. But guess what? There is a mother money from third stimulus, which I'm going to go over for you right now. I had told you back in January that after you get your stimulus check, be prepared for the single biggest amount of money from the third stimulus package, which will be anywhere from five dollars to $20,000 from you coming later. 
And that lighter is now. I'm going to go over different parts of it one at a time, starting right now. The first group is for everyone on this channel, if you make less than a certain amount of money. It's rent, utilities, homeowners mortgage assistance, and also their utilities as well. So what is this? The third sim was provided that money out there, and it's now landing in states, cities, and counties across the board. So where do you get it? City Hall, County Hall. Excuse me, City Hall, City Housing Authority. County Hall, County Housing Authority. State Hall, State Housing Authority. You're asking for rent because of COVID. How much is it? It's generally four to six months of past due rent, and it is about $5,000 or more dollars than more money for utilities. A couple hundred dollars, a couple thousand dollars. Wow, we're looking at about six to seven thousand dollars and we're only about halfway through this video. And I'm not done yet with you. Guess what? Then there's money for mortgage assistance and also homeowners utilities. And if at that point you've done this reach out and you don't like the qualifications, you think maybe you're not eligible, don't worry. Don't worry, because you're going to reach out to the nonprofits, and they are United Way, Salvation Army, Community Action, Catholic Charities, St. Vincent de Paul, and, you, and uh, United Way. They're providing rent assistance and utilities according to, other, uh, according to their own uh, eligibility guidelines, so they may be less restrictive across the board. Finally, if you need help getting any of this money, you can also reach out to the volunteers if you can't find it yourself. News.llate.com forward slash community. The link is in the description of this video and also in the pinned comment. More about them at the commercial break. But boy, I told you there was another one that you all qualify for, and it is the big success of the year. It's SNAP. It's money for food. And guess what? A family of four in Hawaii, it's now because of two executive orders increasing it for 15% over one year, upwards of $16,000 over a year. Incredible. Reach out to the Department of Agriculture to get that money. Here's what you need to know is that Getting money to pay for food alleviates financial difficulties and financial burdens on other things in the household. So by not having that money you have to pay for food, now you can suddenly have that money to go buy other stuff or fix other stuff. Fix a car in the driveway or get your kids teeth uh, repaired or anything like that. Incredible great news. Guess what? In the second half of this video, I'm going to go over the big other money that's available for you. And that big other money is a lot of it. It's a lot of it. And I go over that and I'll go over fifth stimulus and I'll also jump into the live chat, interact with you. We're doing it all. Stay informed, stay focused. I'll be back in 60 seconds. Here's a little bit about the community. On LA Light. If you want money right now, not five days from now and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now on Evening to LA. Hope you're having a beautiful night. 
I hope you are. Thank you for joining me on a special live edition of Evenings at Light. There will not be a sirloin and Javita late tonight, so please enjoy this broadcast across the board. And I'll be back with you tomorrow morning with two more shows, and then we go into early mornings at Light. It's a big night. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. This is LLA, a 24-hour broadcasting financial news channel, the only one of its kind, delivering breaking financial news around the clock, seven days a week. No one else does it. So I don't want you to miss a single subject across the board. And guess what? We're adding new shows to the lineup. So I don't want you to miss anything. Subscribe. One year, 400,000 subscribers. We're knocking on the door, breaking all YouTube records. I want you part of this family. Also, like this video, two, 3,000 likes. And if you're not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. And wow, what a big night it is. Let me go over the other big money that is landing this week. So... First, I want to quickly go over the business money. It is the Shutter Venue Grant, SBA.gov, and also the um, Restaurant Grant at SBA.gov. But let's go to my unemployment people. There is big money for you, but is it automatic? No, it isn't generally. So let me explain. There's a series of YouTubers that are saying you're getting $10,200, you're automatically getting money, it's coming from states, it's just butchering everything. Let me explain what you're getting and what you're not getting and what you need to do. If you filed a 2020 tax return as a single person and paid taxes on your 2020 unemployment benefits, that taxes that you paid on the unemployment is being returned to you automatically by IRS starting this week for single tax preparers, filers. The married couple or joint filers, they're getting theirs in what's called phase two later this month. That's easy breezy. So here's an example. Let's say you had $9,000 in unemployment. Your total tax bill that you paid to the federal government was $5,000, of which $1,000 of it was for unemployment taxes. You're getting $1,000 back. Now, if you have not filed a tax return and did take out for unemployment benefits for the federal taxes every week you got those unemployment benefits in 2020, you have to file a tax return. Go to a tax preparer and prepare that tax return to file it to get that taxes back to you that you withdrew from the federal government for the federal government every week in 2020. Finally, if you have not filed a tax return and you did not take it out for federal taxes, then you know where you are. Then when you do that 2020 tax return, you remember the first $10,200 is tax-free. I'm not a tax preparer. You need to seek a tax advisor when preparing a tax return. And then IRS yesterday gave a breaking news announcement that said if you're missing a first, second, or third stimulus check, file the tax return immediately. Do not wait. So if you have never filed a tax return, don't normally have to file a tax return. The only way they want you to get that stimulus check is to file a tax return. So do it right away. Great news as we now learn more about the children's check, and I'm going to show it to you in this recording. Again, this is where people are telling people they're automatically getting the stimulus check, not necessarily so. Let, let me explain. There's two qualifications to get that stimulus check. First, you made less than $75,000 2020 earnings. And second, IRS knows about that child. Well, it's generally the second qualification that disqualifies people. And so here are three examples of when you're going to not get the stimulus check that you need to fix it. Example number one, you never file a tax return. IRS doesn't know the child exists. You need to file the tax return. Example number two, you do file tax returns, but you're not listing the child, and you need to file that tax return. Uh, example number three, you last filed a 2019 tax return, and we're outside the eligibility zone, even the phase out number, and let's say you made a quarter million dollars, but in 2020, you made $20,000. You took a dive in 2020. Well, guess what? They're not going to give you the check for the child off of your 2020 return because they don't have it. They're going to say no off of your most recent tax return you filed. You don't qualify it. We're not giving you the money. And there you go. More about these exciting details coming up later. But let me go over the excitement about that four stimulus check again. That four stimulus check is the single biggest payout you're ever going to see in the history of this channel. And yes, there are three 
options at play. The House members' bill is incredible great news. It has more money, but it takes longer to get. The bill introduced by Talil and Jalapal proposes uh, a stimulus package in which the check starts to pay out the first month at $2,000, then $1,000 thereafter, and that that check lands every month for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. The senators, however, proposed to go to the end of this year and their payout, word on the street, would be $2,000 to $1,400 a month. When we compare the numbers, let's say we look at the $2,000 possibility for the senators, that would be $12,000 in six months. When we're looking at the House members in turn, then if we had four months left to this pandemic, that would be $16,000, but over 16 months. So more money, but taking longer to get it. And then exciting news about the fifth stimulus package. Let's cut to that right now. The fifth stimulus package is much like the fourth because it goes by a reconciliation process. It is a two-bill, two-step process, and it takes two months. So what are the details about that fifth stimulus? Let me go over the add-on, which is really the most fascinating part of the fifth stimulus. If you're a member of this channel, you have the fifth stimulus proposals for the president, but it's the add-ons that really excite Americans. That is the SSI reform. The SSI reform has a series of provisions, and let me go through it first broadly and then go over the specifics. So it would increase your benefits, add an ass increase the asset limits, add an inflationary benchmark, remove the income exclusion, and then remove the marriage penalty. All right, let me explain how that works. First, they would raise your benefits. Who's you? All of you. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, SSA, and Social Security Survivor Benefits. And if you're on several benefits, they all raise up. That big new number would be your new number. Second, they're going to tie you to inflation. So every December, approximately, you get a letter saying, we have reassessed your benefits, and this is your new number for next year. Well, guess what? <laughs> Inflation is expected to be 2 to 4% over the next few years, says Jerome Powell, head of the Federal Reserve, Jad Yellen, head of Treasury, myself, the president. It, but if inflation goes through the roof, then your benefits will go through the roof. Next, they are removing the asset cap. The asset cap established, was established by a 1980s law, and they are going to rescind it, meaning that asset cap restricts some people from keeping more than $3,000 on hand for a single individual. It's going bye-bye. Then the income exclusion. That's dating back to a 1960s rule that says you cannot work and, and make over a certain amount of money and stay on benefits. They're saying that's going bye-bye. They want you to be able to be work, able to work and still stay on benefits. So let's say you make $1,000 a month. $2,000 a month, $12,000 a year, $24,000 a year, you can still stay on benefits. And finally, the marriage penalty. If you are married, you know what the marriage penalty is. If you're thinking of getting married and you're on benefits, you know what the marriage penalty on the horizon looks like. It is a penalty and penalty, and they're getting rid of it. It would be gone and it would no longer apply to anyone. This reform is reform going forward, so it's not reform retroactively. And there you go. When would this become a law? Just like how four stimulus is a two-bill, two-step, two-month process, this would start in September, and likely the first month in which your benefits would be changed is the month of November. There you go. That is your four stimulus check of update of 2021 tonight and your fifth stimulus check update of 2021 tonight and the latest money coming to you for third stimulus across the board tonight and the surprising, really surprising developing details about the eviction moratorium, the FPUC and the return of money from states from the Department of Labor and the deal making of the president. And with that, let me jump in the live chat and see some of your incredible questions across the board. Uh, shouldn't they have started the process already? Uh, Vicky, they can still start it anytime this month. Uh, hello, LA, says Lilith. Hello, Lilith, how are you? Uh, let's see some of the other questions. Wow, almost two months out, says Lisa. Absolutely. How are we going to receive the unemployment benefit refund by direct deposit or by mail? 
Uh, well, Patricia, if you have already filed your tax return, then you will get it by the way in which that 2020 tax return delineates yourself with IRS. So that 2020 tax return um, is says nothing about a direct deposit account. Then it'll come in the mail. Let me see some more of the questions across the board. Kim, Elliot, how are you doing? I'm feeling better. Thank you. Kimberly, I'm on SSI and I filed a non-fire with no dependents. Do I need to refile a 2020 this year? Uh, Kimberly has a question which I've heard before. It's a really good question. Let me let me explain what she's basically saying. You used a non-fire filing tool last year, uh, and I have kids, and I want to ensure that I get that thirty six hundred dollars or three thousand dollars starting the uh, pro rate starting the month of July. Do I need to file a tax return? Here's what you need to know is if you got that first, second, and third stimulus check for yourself and your kids, totally fine, and nothing at, at, at not at all, and no worries about it, then you may feel very comfortable about not having to file a tax return. If you have, if you're missing one of these checks, you absolutely need to get that tax return on file because there's something going wrong. Finally, if you just really want to be careful about it, then you can just file the tax return and list them as the dependents um, if you've never filed a tax return in the last couple of years. Now, I've had viewers who said, I filed a 2019 tax return. I did it on file a filing tool last year. Um, they saw the child on the 2019 tax return. It's a different level of, of, of safety net. The best example I can have for you was in 2020, I had one person who was a senior citizen who I talk about all the time. It was a great example. And she heard that for, the first stimulus check was coming out. This channel was just launched. We were starting to talk about second stimulus. And she had not gotten her first stimulus. She was a senior. She did not have to file tax returns. She went around all her friends, her girlfriends in the nursing home and got them to do their tax returns. She was, a, she was still very smart. And she did everyone's tax returns. They were all zeros or something like that is how she described it. Filed them. They all got their stimulus checks the first week they went out. IRS apps knew exactly where they were. And I think in her case, it made sense because, she, you know, she, maybe she wasn't in a nursing home. They didn't know the address. She wasn't there maybe three years earlier. So it was a great example of how someone proactively took precautions to ensure they know the stuff. Now, there's other reasons in which you do a tax turn, which is, Perhaps your address is different. Perhaps they don't know where you're located. So that's part of the, the equation as well. Ultimately, it depends on how, uh, how uh, safe you want to be. Uh, Charlotte, is it possible for the House to modify the Senate version of the stimulus checks when the bill returns to the House? Absolutely. And that um, is part of the equation. Now, it's unlikely. It's more likely that the senators will modify the House but when they modify the House, they'll caucus quietly with the, with the House members and pull them. Ultimately, if it's not a massive modification, it's likely not going to get changed again. Paula, Ellie, how can governors stop uh, the federal, the FPUC? Okay, Paula, that's a great question. So FPUC is applied to by governors. FPUC is sort of like LWA from 2020. A state applies to the federal government to get FPUC for their state. If they don't want it, they don't apply for it. And so Republican governors have reportedly indicated that they're going to tell the federal government, we're no longer applying for FPUC. We don't want to give it to our citizens. We want our citizens to get back to work. They have the right to do it. It's voluntary. And ultimately, um, the, the only recourse to it is maybe go to another state, move away. Um, Melissa, my EI, my EIDL email says I have to be in a low income community to qualify for the grant. Did you say the, the, the IOGs were getting their grant, were getting their grants? Yes. So I have had some people get their grants and I have other people get, uh, denial letters saying that, no, you are in a, you are not a low income community. You're not getting the grant. So I have seen both. Um, and it, SBA, I think in 2021, at least this month, is getting more chaotic than it was even last year. Lynn Elliott, how are you? I'm doing good.
Tina, my friend is on SSI and her daughter claims her. So she's an adult dependent. She's never received the $14. Should she do a non-filer filer? filer? Uh, Tina. So I guess what Tina is asking, uh, someone in the family has not gotten a stimulus check and the child is an adult dependent. What should they do? Uh, the fix there. Uh, first, let me go over the fix. <laughs> there is no non-filer filing tool. And yes, uh, yesterday or I think it was this morning or maybe yesterday I made is I, I went over someone's tweet to me. Someone sent me a tweet said tweet treasury to say we don't get a stimulus check. Bring back the non-filer filing tool. <laughs> and I sort of laughed about it. I'm like, no, you don't treat treasury to tell them to change their rules. You do exactly what the rules say, which is there is no non-filer filing tool. There is no longer a non-filer filing tool. That's number one. Number two, IRS says, do not do anything but file a tax return. If you're missing a stimulus check, file a tax return. So that's the first answer to Tina's question. The second part of the question is, who should file a tax return? That ultimately determines the family and they need a tax prepared to do it. So they have two options. Either the, the adult person can file the tax return as a single adult person, or the parent can file it as an adult dependent. Uh, if it was my child, I would have the child filed as an adult. Well, it's not child anymore. I would have the adult dependent uh, filed as their own personal tax return because we have seen first and second stimulus checks where they did not qualify for it because they were adult dependents. This would safeguard against that concern. But ultimately, need to file for tax return, need to go to tax preparer, and need to get it on file ASAP is how IRS says it. So I can't get a stimulus for a child? No, not at all, uh, says Shay, not at all. Uh, Danny, if a couple files a tax return but claims their 53-year-old daughter as a dependent, should they be paid as well? Absolutely, Danny. So that is considered a household member. So the, ha the household concept is there are four people in the household for stimulus checks. So let's say husband, wife, daughter, grandma for stimulus checks well one stimulus check times four to the to the head of household so if the head of household is the husband for example then he files a tax return lists his wife his daughter and his mom grandma so a four times a check coming to him that's how it's uh, been under prior stimulus packages as well and thank you for joining me on a big night of evenings LA. I'm so excited for you to join me. It's been a big night across the board. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I don't want you to miss a single video across the board. Also, like this video. Thank you for your great questions. Two, 3,000 likes. Let's do it. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. I'll see you tomorrow morning on Early Mornings LA and the two shows on Overnights LA before that. Stay informed, stay focused, keep on smiling, and stay with LA for more.